for the final concert of the Springfield Symphony Orchestra's 70th anniversary season. I programmed two works that represent the artistic zenith of two French composers, contemporaries of each other, but with two distinctly different musical voices. Gabriel Faure wrote his Requiem in the late 1890s, apparently for no specific occasion. But he did tell an interviewer that it's been said about his Requiem that it does not exp express the fear of death. In fact, someone even called it a lullaby of death. And, and Faure went on to say that it's the way he sees death. It's a happy experience, deliverance as it were, an aspiration towards the happiness above rather than a painful, fearful experience. Now remember the last time we shared a Requiem Mass here at the Springfield Symphony, the Verdi Requiem. You remember with the 16 trumpets heralding the DACRA, that Day of Judgment? This is a completely different statement. The texture is very transparent. In fact, there are no violins. It's a very small orchestra uh, allowing the voices to shine, and they will. Our Springfield Symphony Orchestra Chorale, directed by Basil Fett, is preparing, and so are the soloists. Uh, Beth Cram Porter and Mark Spencer are good friends from Cedarville University. But contrast the Faure Requiem with the music of Camille Saint-Saëns, uh, one of my favorite composers for a very interesting reason. He and I share the same birthday. Now, admittedly, he, he was born about 100 years earlier than I, but it's still something to celebrate, I think. His third symphony is about as diametrically opposed from the Faure Requiem as one can, can achieve. It's quintessentially romantic, a huge orchestra, and one thing of, of interest will be his use of the keyboard. He calls for piano, but not just one pianist, two pianists at the same keyboard. So it'll be a very interesting sound. Another interesting aspect is his inclusion of the organ. In fact, the piece is called the Organ Symphony. I've always had a love affair with the sound of the pipe organ. And even though we'll be using an electronic instrument for this performance, it will not deny us any of the incredible grandeur that this monumental work of art brings to the table. Joining us as soloist for the Saint-Saëns will be Sean Dawson, organist at Grace Lutheran Church right here in Springfield. So please join us on April 26th right here at Cus Auditorium at the Clark State Performing Arts Center, 8 p.m. I'll see you then.